please fix that, it just, it's just annoying. And that speeds up the process a lot. Automatically look for vertical lines. Go and die in, I am Street View Estate. If you are new here, I uh, teach you everything about Street View, how to post 360 photos onto Street View. Now is the time to compare the two platforms that I've uh, uh, given a tutorial about, the GoThrough and Panoskin, and I will touch a little bit about uh, the uh, Pano 2 VR also at the end. A um, little bit about pricing and uh, ease of use, features, and uh, so on. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the uh, pricing. Before we begin, I uh, just want to clarify, in case you're wondering, I don't have any affiliation with either of these softwares, so these are my honest opinions. So let's get going. Currently, Panoskin has a free plan where you can publish one tour per month for free. And then if you pay $20 a month, you can uh, publish 20 tours a month. And on top of that, they add a few features like blurring faces and uh, nadir patching and so on. You can try these features with a 10-day free trial. GoThrough has a slightly more complex pricing. Uh, the free version is a pay-as-you-go, so it's free forever, but every time you publish a tour, it's $10. Then you can opt in for a $10 per month uh, subscription, and then with that plan you can publish two tours per month. If you go up to $24 per month, you can publish 10 tours, and then finally they have a $54 per month plan where you also publish 10 tours but you get extra storage. Both of these plans have pros and cons concerning pricing. I would suggest you do something I did which was to start with Panoskin because of its free version and then um, a 10 day free trial. Then you might want to move over to go through later for its lower monthly plan of ten dollars so so i think i'll give one point for each panoskin has a rather traditional sign up process where you select a username and password and you need to confirm the email and so on then you connect it with your google account go through goes a quicker route and right away signs you up by logging into your google account it's not a deal breaker either way because you know we're only gonna sign up once and be done with it but I find go throughs way it just makes more sense the problem though with both Panoskin and go through is that I need to log in again for every session if the developers of either software is watching you know, please fix that it just it's annoying but if you're going to look at just the sign up process uh, go through is easier. All virtual tour softwares have a learning curve, that's just the nature of it. But I find Panoskin is relatively easy to get into. That just gives you another reason why it's good to start there. Go through is a tad more complicated, but with complicity also comes flexibility, which is good. If you watch my go through tutorial, you will be up and running in just 30 minutes. And by the way, I also have a full tutorial on Panoskin. So in terms of ease of use, I have to give it to Panoskin. Panoskin has something called automatic aligning, so it will uh, try to predict the orientation of the next panel, and that speeds up the process a lot. But on the other hand, blurring takes so much time in Panoskin, um, so it evens it out. And uh, if you check the timestamp of both tutorials, you will see that it took roughly 50 minutes to build both tours. So that evens it out. It's a good idea to remove your tripod 
uh, from all professional street view tours. Obviously you get the best quality by using Photoshop, but an easy and fast way is to use the built-in Nadir patching in your software. So in Panoskin you can select to put a logo or do a stretch blur. You can change the size of it, but you are doing it blindly because uh, there is no preview of what you're doing. You just choose percentage from 5 all the way up to 20%. A good thing is that usually your tripod stays the same size, so once you know the size of your tripod, this is a quick and easy way to remove your tripod. It just takes 5 seconds just before you publish the tour. In Go Through, you can also put a logo or stretch blur, but you get the benefits of previewing what you're doing. And additionally, Go Through ha has a Nadir patch tool where you can clone parts of the floor to put it over the tripod. This point needs to go to Go Through because uh, you can preview what you're doing, and in addition, the patch tool is a nice bonus feature even though I don't really use it. It's important to blur faces and license plate numbers in Street View. In Go Through, you do that in the same place where you build your tour. You zoom in to the person or object you want to blur and drag a box over it. When you upload to Street View, Go Through will generate the blur. So it's limited to a box I would prefer if there was a circle. In Panoskin you select an image that you want to blur, then it will process that image and then you can apply a blur. It's very uh, flexible, you have a brush that you can essentially paint over with any shape, so that's good, but it just takes so much time to process every picture and then it, and there's another process of applying the blur which uh, you need to wait for to be able to uh, work on the next panel. And in both Go Through and, and uh, Panel Skin, I wish there was a more feathering of the blur. Go Through is a clear winner here because it has a much faster workflow. Both softwares have excellent keyboard shortcuts. I mostly use the arrows and the F key. These work in both softwares. Go through has the advantage of having an undo command. Um, so for each session you can undo uh, as far as you want. But overall they are very similar and I'm giving both a point. In a perfect world you wouldn't need the customer care because everything just works. And I haven't needed to use customer care for either of the softwares a lot because both companies have an excellent YouTube channel that will answer most, almost every question. But in the rare case that I've had to email either of them, they've both been quick to reply. So a point to both. There are a few things that I'd call additional features that one software has but the other one doesn't. Go through has the horizon correction tool where it will automatically look for vertical lines to correct the horizon. Also it has the ability to connect multiple tours together in, in a mall for example. Something I'm going to feature in my next video so uh, look out for that where I explain how to do that. Panoskin on the other hand has the auto-align feature that I explained where it analyzes the picture you're going to connect and tries to rotate it uh, in the correct way. Something that makes building your tour a lot faster. I'm going to give this one to go through because I actually do connect multiple tours regularly so that's something uh, I'm not able to do in any other software as far as I know. Uh, if there is any additional features that you like in either of these softwares, uh, do let me know in the comments. I'd, I'd love to know uh, what uh, features uh, you like in either of these softwares, or, or maybe you have uh, ideas for features that you'd like to 
suggest to them and I'll be sure to forward it to them. Both companies have developed a separate software uh, to create blue lines. Panoskin has Trailblazer that works with uh, GoPro Fusion and GoThru has Street Builder that works with basically any camera. I'll be testing both very soon and I'll tell you the results in a future video. So until I've tested both of them, I'm not going to give any point in this category. And then there's Pano2VR. I actually haven't used uh, Pano2VR, but I think it's important to mention it. It's a software that you install into your um, computer. It's very promising and many power users use it. It's harder to learn it. Uh, price is good because you pay one time and there is no monthly fee. The software is installed into your computer so you're not tied to the internet when you're working. So some people prefer that. Uh, you can blur faces and remove tripods in a way that Panoskin and GoThru just can't. And then they also have an excellent YouTube channel where you can learn all the features. So I'll be doing a tutorial of Pano2VR sometime in the future because it certainly has many advantages. Then there are many other softwares that I haven't mentioned that are worth checking out, like 3D Vista and so many others. Instead of making this um, video three hours long, I'm uh, putting a link in the magic box below to a document where I list all of them. And as uh, I test them, I'm going to give each one a rating in these different categories, so you can have an idea of the benefits of each software. It's still a work in progress, as you can see, but it's going to be a valuable tool to decide on the different softwares to use. Currently, GoThrough is the winner with 8 points. It's fast and reliable, and I've noticed that they keep adding new features. So, congratulations, GoThrough. Keep up the good work. So, that's it. Um, there's another platform that I didn't mention was the uh, Street View app, which is useful for maybe publishing individual panoramas, but I would not recommend it to be used for publishing an entire tour. Uh, that, if you are doing that, it's worth investing in one of those platforms. Mm, then, um, uh, in the next video, I will uh, tell you about how to create a Google My Business listing for a business that is not listed uh, yet and also how to connect two individual tours together uh, uh, because my, maybe you remember the uh, bookstore had a coffee shop uh, upstairs and that business doesn't yet have a listing so we will create a listing together and then connect those uh, the bookshop and the the coffee shop together so it's uh, you can walk between those two tours if there's any updates to these platforms that i talked about in this video i will um, update it in the magic box below if you have any questions of course you can uh, message me or better yet drop a comment and uh, yeah see you in the next one